Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see your question today. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the line 3x plus 4y minus 24 is equal to 0, that line intersects x-axis at point A and that same line intersects y-axis at point B. Then we have been asked, what is the in-center of the triangle OAB where O is the origin? So we have been asked to find the in-center of this triangle OAB. So we'll understand how to figure that out. And if I talk about the options that are given to us here, the options are 3, 4, 2, 2. The third option given to us is 4, 4. And the last option given to us here is 4, 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's do that. Let's solve the question. So if I see here, first of all, if I make y axis and x axis, it's told to me that my line 3x plus 4y minus 24 equal to 0 intersects x axis at A and y axis at B. So if I have my line that is 3x plus 4y equals to 24, because it was minus 24, I'm taking it on the right hand side. If it intersects x axis means its y coordinate is 0. So if I put y as 0, I get 3x is 24 and that makes x as 8. If I put x as 0, I get 4y is 24. That makes y 6. So I get the two coordinates. One is at x axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it touches x axis at 8, comma 0. This is our point A given. And y axis it touches is 6. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So somewhere here, 0, comma 6. So this is your line B. And this is your line A. So if I draw a straight line which passes through this, starting from this point, so you get a straight line here like this. So you get the straight line here. This is your AB and this is your origin O. So you get a triangle OAB here. Now we have been asked to find the in-center of this triangle. So if I want to find the in-center of this triangle, basically I understand I will have a circle here which will touch all the three sides of the triangle. So that's your in-circle which is inscribed in the triangle. And for the circle which is there, we have to find what is the in-center, that is the center of this triangle. So we need to find the center coordinates. Let's say this is C. So what I understand from this is that this is my radius of the circle R. This is also my radius of the circle R. So my coordinates of the center become from the origin. If you see, this is nothing but R coordinate. This is also nothing but R coordinate. So my x and y coordinates of the center are same actually r and r. So from that only if I try to find out my answer, I understand my answer choice A and answer choice D gets cancelled directly. Because here if you see x and y coordinates are not same for the center. Without us. So we already know that x and y coordinates should be same. Also, if I see this circle, it is touching this line which is 3x plus 4y minus 24 equal to 0. So when it is touching this line and this acts as a tangent because this is touching the circle at one single point. So that line if I see if I connect it with my radius, we know already radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. And this radius r which is perpendicular to the tangent. If I use the idea of perpendicular distance from a straight line, the formula for that we already know it is mod of ax plus by minus c upon root of a square plus b square 
is nothing but your perpendicular distance, which in this case is r. That is your radius. So if I use the idea of equation of line that is given to me, 3x plus 4y minus 24, where x and y are nothing but the coordinates of the in-center, that is r comma r. So you are finding the distance of this coordinate from the line. So perpendicular distance from the straight line, so 3 into r plus 4 into r minus c, that is 24, root of a square plus b square, so 3 square plus 4 square is equal to r, that is your perpendicular distance. So you get this as 7r minus 24 upon root of 3 square plus 4 square, that is 9 plus 16, that is 25, square root of 25, we know it as 5, that is equal to r. So you get 7r minus 24 upon 5. If I remove the mod here, I get that as plus or minus r. So that gives you 7r minus 24 equals plus or minus 5r. So if I solve this further, I get this as 7r minus 24 is equal to 5r. Or I get that as 7r minus 24 is equal to minus 5. So you get this as 2r is equal to 24, r is equal to 12, or from here you get that as 12r is equal to 24, so you get from here r as 2. So with that, if you see the center coordinates, you get that as 12, comma 12, because x and y are the same coordinates and both of them are equal to r, right? So x and y are equal to r. So you get the center coordinates as 12 comma 12 or 2 comma 2. But if you see 12 comma 12, if I have plotted this coordinate axis x and y, 12 comma 12 will be somewhere here. So it will be outside the triangle, right? But we already know that in center if it is there and circle is inside the triangle, your in center also should lie inside the triangle. So 12 comma 12 does not make sense. So we have to reject that. So the only coordinates of the in-center that satisfy the given conditions are 2 comma 2. So if you see the answer choices that matches with the options here, it is answer B. So you get the correct answer for the question, that is option B. So B becomes your correct answer here. Now, I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we figured out x-axis, y-axis, we figured out where does this line 3x plus 4y equals to 24 intersects on x and y axis? Once I got both the coordinates a and b, with the origin I got the triangle OAB. Then I just made the circle inside the triangle which touches the sides of the triangle at three points. So then we use the idea of radius being perpendicular to the tangent and we use the idea of perpendicular distance from a straight line. So once we got that, we figured out the value of R and that R was nothing but X and Y coordinate of the in-center of the triangle. So that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we're going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12 as well as JW. So if you are loving these videos that I am putting every day by solving each and every question, so please do like also the videos. I am getting a views on the videos, but I am not getting enough likes there. So please do like if you are enjoying the videos. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on every day. Thank you.